Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb question for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. In this video, we'll take a look at CCNA exam V1. 0, CCNA 200 to 301, Topics Related Questions. So, today's is 1.1c, Next Generation Firewalls and IPS. Let's go to question 1. What does the term zero day refer to in the context of cybersecurity? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, a newly discovered software vulnerability that has not yet been patched. In cybersecurity, a zero day refers to a newly discovered software vulnerability that has not yet been patched or fixed by the software vendor. Hackers may exploit these vulnerabilities before a security patch is available, making them a significant risk to systems and networks. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question two. What is the purpose of sandboxing in a next generation firewall? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B to analyze suspicious files or code in a controlled environment. Sandboxing in a next-generation firewall involves creating a controlled and isolated environment where suspicious files or code can be executed and analyzed safely. This helps to detect and understand the behavior of potential malware or threats without risking the security of the production network. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question three. What is the key benefit of using next-generation firewalls and IPS together in a network security strategy? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. They offer complementary layers of defense, with firewalls focusing on access control and IPS focusing on threat prevention and detection. Next-generation firewalls and intrusion prevention systems, IPS, provide complementary layers of defense in a network security strategy. Firewalls focus on controlling access to the network based on predefined rules and policies. IPS, on the other hand, focuses on detecting and preventing potential threats in real time, such as malware. Okay, let's go to question four. What technology does an intrusion prevention system, IPS, use to identify and respond to potential threats? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D, Signatures and Behavioral Analysis. An intrusion prevention system, IPS, uses a combination of signatures and behavioral analysis to identify and respond to potential threats. Signatures are patterns or definitions of known attack patterns, while behavioral analysis monitors network traffic for deviations from normal behavior that might indicate an attack. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question five. How does an intrusion prevention system, IPS, differ from an intrusion detection system, IDS? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. An IPS responds to threats, while an IDS only detects them. An intrusion detection system, IDS, detects and alerts administrators about potential security threats in the network. On the other hand, an intrusion prevention system, IPS, not only detects threats but also takes active measures to prevent or mitigate them, such as blocking or quarantining malicious traffic. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 6. What is the primary benefit of using application layer filtering in a next-generation firewall? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. It provides better control and visibility into application usage and behavior. Application layer filtering in a next-generation firewall provides better control and visibility into how applications are being used on the network. It allows administrators to enforce policies based on specific applications, which can help optimize network performance, prioritize critical applications, and detect and prevent unauthorized or risky application usage. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 7. What is an intrusion prevention system, IPS, designed to do? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Identify and respond to potential security threats in real time. 
An Intrusion Prevention System IPS, is designed to identify and respond to potential security threats in real time. It actively monitors network traffic for signs of malicious activity or unauthorized access and can take immediate actions to block or prevent the detected threats. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. What is the main difference between traditional firewalls and next generation firewalls? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Traditional firewalls only analyze network traffic, while next generation firewalls also inspect application and user behavior. The main difference between traditional firewalls and next generation firewalls is that, while traditional firewalls primarily analyze network traffic based on ports and protocols, next generation firewalls go beyond that by inspecting application and user behavior. This allows next generation firewalls to provide more advanced threat protection and better security control. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 9. What does an intrusion prevention system, IPS, do when it identifies a suspicious network activity? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. It generates an alert and can take actions to block or prevent the threat. When an intrusion prevention system, IPS, identifies suspicious network activity, it generates an alert to notify administrators of a potential threat. Additionally, depending on its configuration, the IPS can take actions to block or prevent the detected threat, helping to safeguard the network. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, let's go to question 10. What is the primary purpose of a next generation firewall? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C provide advanced threat protection by analyzing application and user behavior. The primary purpose of a next-generation firewall is to provide advanced threat protection by analyzing application and user behavior. Unlike traditional firewalls that focus on port and protocol filtering, next-generation firewalls also inspect the content of network traffic to detect and prevent modern cyber threats. So, here comes, colon, supplementary materials. The questions here are found in the email. Please comment with your email address in the comment section, and I will forward them to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my efforts. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Stay tuned.